got on your show today. What? What? What am I supposed to say? Oh. Yeah. Got a damn good show for y'all. Got a damn good show. Damn good show. Anyway, I came across this high-speed pursuit down in Florida. Yeah. This is the craziest one I've ever seen. Well, it's up there. It's up there. Let's go to it. This is crazy. First of all, before we go to it, yeah, you got a, a Negro in this minivan, right? He's doing, he's speeding, and his, his uh, front right passenger tire is blown. He's just driving on rim, and he, I think he's doing about 90 to 100. And these Negroes are dangerous. Yeah, man, they, they don't have, they don't understand the implications of their actions. Driving on straight rim doing 90? Yeah. Something's bad about to happen. I would slow down. Well, he don't want to go to jail. He probably been there. It's like, no, nah, that's not for me. Yeah, that could be a problem. That could be a reason, too. Shut up. Anyway, let's go to the video. This is crazy. Dude's got a U-Haul. Dude must have been moving or something. Either that he stole that U-Haul, man. <laughs> I think he stole it. Well, th- what started this, uh, uh, it was a confrontation with a police officer. It was like an uh, assault on a police officer. Oh, okay. You know what? It's a possibility that he doesn't know he's driving on rail. Man, how can you not know, Kevin? Man, come on. He's a Negro, and his adrenaline's pumping. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. Those two do not mix. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point, man. What? man this nigga getting reckless. Cop said, I had enough of this. That's a good pit maneuver. Yeah, you would think it's over, right? That's a damn good pit maneuver. You would think this is over, right? Yep. It ain't over. That was a damn good pit maneuver, man. Look, he said, no, I'm like. textbook. Yep, it ain't over. Cop said, all right, let me, let me get you again. <laughs> <laughs> you would think it's over, right? <laughs> Looks like it's over, right? Yeah, it is over right here. Van smoking. Man, got the right. cone up under the damn tire now. <laughs> He's still going. <laughs> Let's get him one more time. They did three pit maneuvers <laughs> on him, man. Oh, you ain't going nowhere now. Now, according to the left wing media, they say the cops will be shooting him by now. Oh, they shot him because he's black. You know what I'm saying? They play that. They this push that dude narrative. Does not got any quitting him. I mean, if you were to put this, this uh. This energy into something productive. He could be a, a a great person in society. All right, I think it's over now. Well, but it's surrounded by white men. You ain't going nowhere. Watch how crazy this gets. Them white men got that Negro cornered. <laughs> <laughs> hey, watch how crazy this gets. Don't tell me he's going to jump off the bridge. Watch how crazy it gets. Yeah. Oh, look, got a passenger in there. Big girl, too. Get your black ass on the ground. <laughs> Look at the dude in the back. He gonna hop Wait off the bridge. Three Negroes. <laughs> Look, he tried to hop off the back. You see him? He was gonna jump off. It's four Negroes. <laughs> hey, Kevin, did you see him gonna hop off? Hop off the bridge? Man, I think that would have killed him. They actually end up saving his life. Yeah, Watch, off. they hang it on to him. Look. Let him go, man. I believe in freedom. You know, <laughs> if he wants to jump, let him jump. <laughs> Look here. Sometimes you just gotta learn things the hard Look. way. You know. Look at that fall. He would. Uh, he he. I think that would have killed. Well. I don't know if it would have killed him, but he wouldn't he'd be playing. Up, he'd have blew up both his knees, yeah. but he'd been fine. Yeah, he ain't playing basketball no more. I know that. He'd have shattered both them hips. Look at him. <laughs> Cops actually <laughs> saved his life. Look at him. <laughs> man, Let he's. Let me go. Let me go, you racist white man. <laughs> <laughs> you remember uh, Girls Gone Wild Negroes Gone Wild. <laughs> them Negroes jumping out that band like they was Mexicans. <laughs> Like a bunch of the, illegals. The Negro and the Mexican got so much in common. <laughs> they ain't got nothing in common with Mexicans. What you talking about? Yeah, Mexicans work hard. They don't complain. I envy the Mexican. Yeah. Now, that's a totally different you culture. You know what? Right I envy the Mexican, the Latino that comes here. They work hard. They don't ask questions. You tell them to do something, they do it. Negro, you give them a Negro job. Why, why can I do that? Because he's black? <laughs> I envy the African. Who comes here for a better country? For comes here for a better country. I don't feel good. I'm saying something crazy just now. I envy 
the Negro from Africa. He comes here for a better life. Well, the, um, one of the highest paid demographics in this country Nigerian. is like Nigerians. They come here. They come here to be doctors. It's just it's a different culture. Go figure. You see what the Negroes doing in America, right? Yeah. That was the that was fu- shut up. What you that was a full display. That's the American Negro right there. <laughs> I would do anything if I could take the American Negro, give him his reparations, send his black ass back out. <laughs> what are you talking about? No, man. Let him go back to Africa, learn the language, they have the money. You know? They'd be set, man. And then America, we can achieve the American dream because we ain't got the Negro holding us back. <laughs> man, what's wrong with you? You sound like uh, I'm just joking. You sound like Jesse Peterson in here. <laughs> I'm just joking. Who are you Jesse? Who are you Jesse Peterson Jr. in here? <laughs> Jesse didn't slept with a white woman or something. They had him in a light skin boy. <laughs> Talking shit about Negro. <laughs> no man, but I'm no. just joking. You know I'm joking. I know you joking. Y'all know I'm joking, right? When I when I when I when I trash black people, I'm just joking. It's tough love, really. Yeah, tough love. So let me say this. What? You know, it does this. Uh, <clears throat> Well, there's a mindset, there's an attitude in the black community that, you know. What? Like, the majority of people in prison is black, even though they're like 10% of the population, right? You know why? But shut up. You know why? Shut up. Let me say something, man. <laughs> they in prison because of racism. No, that's that's what I'm trying to White say. People made them commit crime. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say. They, they. They have this impression they're in there because they're black. They're not in there because they're black. They're leaving out a lot of details when they say <laughs> Yeah, you're leaving out a lot of details. They're in there because they're criminals. They forget about the person they robbed at the liquor store and the people they shot. And, and it's like um, in the <laughs> black community, um, they, have a, they have a negative. Um, they're pessimistic. They have a negative outlook on police officers. They're pessimistic. Two. What? They need to book. They, they need to be more optimistic. When I when I get pulled over by the cops, man, these white cops all over me. Man, they're doing a good job. I will pull me over too. You know? What? You want to search my car? Uh, okay. He searched my car. Man, these, these police officers, they're doing a damn good job, man. Hey, shut up, Kevin. You, you ain't doing that. No, I ain't letting nobody Cop coast, I need to search your finger. You ain't searching shit. <laughs> Why'd you pull me over? I was speeding. No, I wasn't. You know what? I was talking to a police officer about three three weeks back, and typically when I get pulled over for speeding, they know I am. They just let me go. <laughs> but this cop must have been a lover. He know who the hell I am. <laughs> he said, where you head? I said, I'm going home from a long day's work at the office, you know. They say, hey, uh, I pulled you up because you uh, you you uh, you didn't have your seatbelt on. I said, I had my seatbelt on. He said, no, you didn't. I said, look, man, I had my seatbelt on, right? He says, look, uh, I'll cut you loose if you let me check your car. I say, you ain't searching shit. You can kiss my ass. How about that? You know what happened? It was that. You know why he pulled you over? Because I was black. Yep. Racism. Anyway. It was funny, too. We was having a nice conversation. We was going back and forth. Hey, can I search your car? I said, kiss my ass. You ain't searching shit. <laughs> His eyes got big as hell, but I snapped on his ass. <laughs> Let's go back and forth, la, 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 la. Heading home, yep, yep. How, how you doing? Yep, doing fine. Uh, you ready to get off my shift. Hey, can I search your car? Hell no, you can't search my car. <laughs> he can't he, be all friendly. He thought I was just going to agree with him because he's being nice. Yeah, but anyway. He didn't give me a ticket, though. You couldn't. He couldn't. He said I wasn't wearing my seat, but I always put my That's the first thing I do when I get a car. Yeah. Anyway. <sighs> If you're a black person, this is what not to do with your life. You can learn a lot from the American Negro. What? You can learn a lot from the American Negro. Oh, just do the opposite of what they just do. Just do the opposite of what they do. Hey, we got new, our giveaway is almost up. Giving away a Ford Bronco and 10000 in cash to end of the win. Go to officialhorsetwins.com. Anything you buy at the site gets you automatically into the win. Yeah.